All right, a small announcement before we start the video. So if you see down below, I have a sponsor button now. Basically, the sponsor button is for creators that, you know, you want to support extra and you pay them $5 a month. There's like different perks for different creators. If you sponsor me, you'll be a part of my sponsors only Discord server. You can talk to me, you can play games with me. Basically, it's a direct line of connection with me. So yeah, if you really um, want my attention. Also, you get a cute little smiley face next to your name when you comment on my videos. And the longer you're a sponsor, the face will change colors. It's like karate. The longer you do it, you just go up the belts. You know what I'm saying? Freaking lit, right? So yeah, if you want to support me extra and or get to like talk to me, get to know me, blah, blah, blah. Boom, you got it right there. And if you can, don't worry about it. Watching me, liking my videos, you know, subscribing, following. You're already supporting me extra. Thank you. I feel like my Discord server is just going to end up like this. It's all right though, me and the three of you quesadillas that sponsor me, we're gonna have a lit time. And get your kiss on. You don't have to, but you should probably watch Fifth Grade Love Life before you watch this video. So this story is about a girl I'm going to call Jamie. It all started in the summer between fourth and fifth grade when Jamie and her family moved across the street from me. From the moment they moved in, our families became close and me and Jamie started hanging a lot. At first, I thought of Jamie just as a friend, you know, just one of the boys, just one of the bros, you know what I'm saying? Not one of the hosts. We did a lot of things together. We played this game where we bounced a ball back and forth until it touches the ground and we try to like get a high score with how many passes we can do. We would play King of the slide where we just like try to pull each other down the slide basically we also try making a youtube channel none of us knew how to edit though so we just had to do the video in one cut and like we'd always just laugh mid video to do it so i don't know it never worked out but i also had another friend named ted ted lived downstairs from me in my apartment so we hung out a lot ted was one of my best friends in germany we actually made a channel together we uploaded one video on it which is in the deep dark depths of youtube and it will never be found which is a good thing because if you think my videos now are cringy you should go see that one I can't even delete the video anymore. I forgot the account password. Good thing it's hidden in the bottom of the YouTube seat. Ted was a grade above me, so when I was in fifth grade, he was in sixth grade, so he would always teach me about girls and stuff. He would always be my master shifu in the ways of dating. If you watch my fifth grade love life video, then you would know that at this point, I'm actually dating a girl, but like, we never talked, so I kind of forgot about her. Don't be mad at me. Go watch the video first. She forgot about me too, okay? And so Ted was suggesting me girls to like because it's middle school. You have to like a girl, you know? That's mandatory. I didn't really know who to like. I was just looking at girls across the playground that would be a good pick and then Ted says Jamie. I was mind blown. I was like, wait, she's not just my friend. She's a girl too. I started thinking, hold up, she's kind of pretty. When did that happen? I was so amazed by the fact that I thought of her as a friend for almost a year and then all of a sudden my perspective of her just completely changed. So that evening, Ted forced me and Jamie onto the swing set where I slowly asked her out. I say slowly because I was too nervous to ask her straight up. So I was just putting random words together, hoping that she'd figure it out. First, I told her she was pretty and she told me she was flattered. Then I asked her out and she wasn't sure. Jamie explained to me that she's not allowed to date and her brother is very protective so she just suggested we be friends with benefits so like basically keep it low-key at the time though I was stupid so when I didn't hear the exact words yes I'll go out with you I thought she rejected me I was like okay sure friends with benefits but I didn't know what that meant so I just thought she didn't like me so I just treated her as a friend for the next couple months until sixth grade when I started catching feelings for her a tad bit more before I just found her attractive but at this point I kind of started liking her for realsies it's sixth grade middle school dances are a thing now the Halloween dance was coming up and all the guys were asking girls to the dance and so I thought of asking Jamie but at the time I knew she didn't like me so I didn't really want to try and I was kind of a big old wussy in middle school so I just I just didn't have the balls to ask her well the Halloween dance comes along and I was just starting to get into dance at that point so I wasn't like that good so when there was a dance circle I didn't want to hop in everyone knew I could do the moonwalk though so they were like hey go in go in but I just didn't want to embarrass myself and then I see Jamie across the circle smiling at me all of a sudden I just magically learned how to do the robot I moonwalked in and impressed her so hard later in the dance slow music turns on all of my friends are telling me dude go look for jamie so i was pretending like i was but i was really hoping i didn't see her because i knew she didn't like me so i just didn't want to try so i'm pretending i'm looking for jamie until i feel a tap on my shoulder i turn around and jamie asks me to dance after the dance, Jamie went to a sleepover with their friends and Jamie's dad picked me and her brother up because we live close. We're in the car and Jamie's dad asks, So how was the dance? Um, it was pretty good. Yeah, pretty fun. Dance with any girls? 
No, sir. Jamie's brother knew I danced with Jamie, so he's just giving me a death glare. Good thing we were friends, because if we weren't, he would have not let that slide. A week later, I found out that Jamie's dad found out about me dancing with Jamie. It was really awkward, especially since I lied to him. But look, Jamie's dad was a big military man. I didn't want to tell him that I slept with... Wait, what? I didn't want to tell him that I danced with his daughter. And Jamie asked me to dance. It wasn't my fault. What am I supposed to do? Turn down a pretty girl? I can't do that. A couple weeks later, my sister got lost at night, so it was dark. The thing is, my sister has down syndrome so my family not being able to find her at night is kind of a big deal so i was running around looking for her and then i run into jamie and she starts helping me find her 10 minutes later though my mom found her so everything was okay but me and jamie kept walking together alone just the two of us at night together while we were walking at night in the dark alone together just the two of us together she said she likes me. She said the only reason we didn't date is because of her family. I told her I liked her too and I hugged her and we had some juicy eye contact. Now, if you're an OG quesadilla, you know that I'm in love with juicy eye contact. Well, Jamie is the reason for me liking juicy eye contact because she was so good at it. After we confessed to each other and hugged, she was staring straight into my soul. And that's when I realized the potential of juicy eye contact. She never became my girlfriend, but she was a good friend of mine and she showed me the experience of youth and love. I know we were only in sixth grade, but we had a deep connection and she was the first girl I experienced that with. So thank you. I don't know if you're watching this, but but you know who you are. Damn, that was a good story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of miss the sixth grade days. Not the funniest video, but here at Kay's channel, we're all about diversity. It's not just comedy. We're also about the romance, comedic romance to be exact. Kay is going global. We're going worldwide, international entertainment. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like tortillas. She was Mexican. Her mom made some bomb tortillas. Really though. Stay tuned for more episodes.